I'm super excited to show you what I've been working on for the last few months. I created Headcode CMS, a 100% free and open source headless CMS system with no limits on users and storage. Headcode CMS is embeddable, which means you NPM install it into your Next.js 13 project, configure, for instance, Superbase for database storage and auth, and you are done. No need to run a separate CMS server or use a CMS cloud service. I believe that reusable themes and theme marketplaces are important factors that made WordPress and Shopify so extremely successful. By choosing existing themes, you start your project from a high quality base. With Headcode CMS, I bring the concept of reusable themes to the latest front-end technologies. On the front end, I start with the support of Next.js 13 with all the cool features like app router, server components, server actions, and image optimization. But I plan to extend it to popular tools like Remix, Shopify Hydrogen, Svelte, and Vue. In addition, Headcode CMS requires a cloud database, storage for images, and auth. I start with Superbase as it supports all three, but I will add support for Vercel, Postgres, Vercel Blob, AuthJS, Clark, and others. An adapter interface similar to the one at AuthJS allows communities to extend it to their needs. Interested in what it looks like? Let's jump into a quick demo. I prepared a demo marketing website for a fictitious retargeting SaaS company. Here we have a typical page structure, a navigation menu on the top, a hero section below, a features section, price plans, news, and a footer. Let's navigate to the news with an overview page and blog posts. In addition, we have a login page and an about page. At the bottom, we added a small editing component, which will be replaced by Vercel's visual editing integration when deployed to Vercel. Let's click edit. Now you see each individual section with the option to edit directly on the page. Let's edit the hero section. This displays the Headcode CMS dialog with all the feeds you can edit. Update the title, save, and the changes are visible immediately. Now, scroll down to the price plan section, edit it. You can see the title, description, and the block for each plan. I click into the first plan, the starter plan. As you can see, blocks may be nested within blocks. Let's add a new feature email support and save it. On the edit dialog, I can click admin to navigate to the Headcode CMS administration. You see that we are on version 01 for the content. Later you see how versioning works and how it integrates with GitHub and Vercel's visual editing. On the left navigation, you find the configuration for globals and collections, and the media library and user section. Let's go to the globals and select page home. On top, you can edit the metadata. Below, you can define some tags and edit the sections displayed on the home page. Here, for instance, the hero section. Here, the metadata for the home page. How is this implemented? Let's have a look into the code. In local repos head code, you find the core of the CMS, which are currently transferred to an NPM package. In the app route, I have two route groups, one for the embedded head code admin and one for the website itself. In addition, I added a theme folder. This is where I put all sections. For instance, the block hero consists of two files, the hero component and the block hero section.ts, which contains the configuration of the component and its used fields. The main configuration for Headcode CMS is done in the Headcode config.ts file. It defines the version as well as the globals and collections used throughout the website. As you can see here in the admin. The globals have only one instance and are used for navigation, footer and so on. Collections have multiple instances <coughs> and are used for blogs and blog posts, for instance. As you can see, the structure in the headcode.config.ts file is quite simple. You define the name, the sections you want to use in the editor. Some sections include the metadata that is used on the pages and presets are displayed if you create a new page. How do I use the sections in the layout and pages? Let's look into the layout file. Just reference the section 
using the name defined in the config file, here I use a global navigation and footer. The home page is even sim simpler as it only uses the pages that home section. Similar to blog, the blog overview page queries all blog posts and uses the cards component directly to display the content. The blog post is quite simple as well and uses the slack parameter for the sections component. In the logging component, you see that you can mix the section with the standard React app. Let's have a quick look how a section component is implemented. Here the block hero component, and in the configuration you define the name and the fields that can be edited and are passed to the component. Now I show you how easy it is to create a new component. Let's assume we want to add a simple component to your blog post that consists of an image on the left and some text centered on the right. First, create a new folder in the themes directory and add an image uh, text.ts file, which contains the implementation for the component. To test it, I simply add it to the layout file below the navigation. Fine, it's added. Now, I add a container and grid. Fine. I want an image and a rich text field to be editable, so let's pass both as parameter to the component and give them default values. I use placeholder utilities from head code for this. Let's add the image. And add the text we are dangerously set in HTML. Wow, this is exactly what we want. Let's turn this into a head code section. First, create an image text section.ts file for the configuration. For simplicity, I copy the config from block here section and change it to image text section. Change the label for the image. Change title to text and use a rich text field. We don't need the except field here. That's it. We successfully created an image text section we can now add to the head code config. Let's add it to the blog collection. Remove the image text from the layout and let's see the final result. Navigate to the blog post. Click Edit. Add the newly created image text section. Add an image and some text. Voila! Multi-language support. Just add your locales to the configuration and you can manage multiple languages. It's up to you if you implement query parameters or use the path in your pages to support different locales. In the admin, simply select the language you'd like to edit. Now, I show you my most favorite feature, versioning. We are in version 01 right now. Let's go to the head code config file and update to version 02. And we want to clone the data from version 01. Start the dev server and reload the page and click the clone button. Wow.
Wow, now we are on version 02. When you switch over to Superbase, you see the tables have been cloned. I think the general functionality is clear now, but you see the real power when we use Git branching and the integration with Vercel's visual editing. In many projects, I see that the websites are prepared once or twice a week and for special events like Black Friday. You can version them with week 32, 33 and so on, for instance. To start, let's revert to version 01. First, I create a branch for version 03 and clone the data from version 01. Let's commit the branch. Of course, first add the modified file and push the changes to GitHub. Now switch to Vercel deployments. As you can see, the current branch is building. It's a preview branch. Done. Let's visit the preview. You get a public URL and you can share with anyone to review the website. Sign in, create the schema and clone the data. And visit the website. You see the preview with cloned data and version 03. At the bottom of the page, you see the editing component from Vercel, which includes the visual editing feature. Headcode CMS implements the visual editing API and can be used on Vercel's preview deployments. Just edit the sections, it's so cool. When you're finished with editing the content and updating your code for version 03, simply merge the changes and push them to GitHub. Vercel's deployment infrastructure automatically deploys the new version to production. Awesome! Finally, I'd like to show you my vision about reusable sections. When you visit a normal website and you find a section cool, and want to use it for a project, I want that you simply inspect the code for the section. If it's a head code CMS project and a public reusable section, then you just copy the name. Switch to a code editor and add the section to your project. Shed CNUI and Tailwind Catalyst have led the way. Copying the code to your project and making the component yours is the right way to go. So what's the status of the project? I have a working version ready with all the features I'd like to see in a 1.0 version. But it's not ready to be released to the public. Currently, I'm working on the npm package, adding tests and full TypeScript support. In addition, I must work on the documentation. There is still a lot to do. In the past, I worked on Headcode CMS in my spare time as a side project. But I'd like to reduce my freelance work dedicate more time to head code and speed up development. Therefore, I'm searching for sponsors and investors supporting my plans. Premium sponsors and investors get access to the source code of the prototype right now. And they may discuss features and milestones with me. I hope you are as excited as I am about head code CMS. And I'm looking forward to releasing a public version as soon as possible. Come on and check out my work.